According to the internet, in terms of normal puzzles, this is the world's hardest crossword puzzle, word search, and Sudoku puzzle. And I'm gonna try to solve all three of them. I generally like figuring out puzzles, but I'll go ahead and say that I think the crossword puzzle will be the hardest one and the word search will be the easiest, which I guess that makes sense if you think about it. <laughs> for each puzzle, I'm giving myself a time limit, 10 minutes for the word search, one hour for the Sudoku puzzle, and three hours for the crossword puzzle or until I just give up. By the way, if you wanna do any of these puzzles yourself, they are linked in the description below. And I'll also say that I will give a warning before I show the answer to any of the puzzles. Uh, I was having it on screen for like three seconds or so. That way you can hit the right arrow on the keyboard or double tap the screen to skip five seconds ahead or do whatever you need to do to not see the answer. If for some reason you're like, hey, yo, what's Sudoku? Don't worry, I got you. So it originates from an 18th century Swiss mathematician's work and eventually became popular in Japan in the 1980s under the name Sudoku, which in Japanese means single numbers. By the early 2000s, different newspapers from around the world published different puzzles. And nowadays there's even a championship held every year. Seriously, this is the person that won last year. So basically you got this nine by nine grid and your goal is to fill in the numbers one through nine in a way that every row, column, and three by three mini grid has all the numbers without any repeats. It's kind of like a numerical harmony challenge, but I did put in the work on some random app that I downloaded and did three different difficulty levels to kind of see where I'm at. We have arrived to the Sudoku era. Let the games begin. Okay, here we go. We got our first number right here. Number one, let's go. And that motivation died very quickly because before you knew it, I was realizing I didn't know what I was getting myself into and time was just going by like it was nothing. We officially passed one hour and I'm making progress, but I just feel like I'm gonna hit like a roadblock where because I guess it's something's gonna happen and I'm gonna have to like erase a bunch of stuff. So in case you're unaware, you can make notes in the Sudoku puzzles that will let you know all of the possible numbers that can go in a specific box. I was doing that thinking that it would help me and I don't know if I messed up along the way. I ended up guessing on one of them and paid the ultimate price. I guess it was bound to happen, but right here, I need to have a seven right here, but there's clearly a seven already here. So I think I just messed up everything. <laughs> ah, great. Unfortunately, I feel like I have no other choice but to start over because every time I try to correct a mistake, it's almost like I'm making two more. So basically the good thing was I got to start over, have a fresh plate, except for one number that I knew for sure was the correct answer. Bad news is the fact that I had to start over. When you're facing failure, you just gotta get back up and keep going. Okay, I, I'm, I know that's cheesy, but I, it's just what I was thinking. Okay, I got a good flow going, so I think I'll probably finish this, hopefully, within the next five to 10 minutes, because it's been way too long, if I'm just being honest. I mean, this is crazy. Three hours, come on. It was at this point where I just realized the time didn't really matter to me, it was just more about finishing, and just to say I did it. So that took me a whopping time of three hours, 18 minutes, and 45 seconds. I don't know if I should be ashamed, proud, or just content. I'm gonna go with the last one. <laughs> I think if I didn't have like that first issue where I guessed and kind of went on and then kind of messed up, I think it would have probably still been like two and a half hours or so. Could I learn more like strategies and all that kind of stuff? Yes. Could I just get better at it? Yes. But I think the cool thing about Sudoku is compared to the other two is like, I could do that puzzle again right now and I can maybe remember where one of the numbers go. I think that's the cool part. Like with the word search, which I'm about to do next, you obviously know what the word is. In a crossword puzzle, you can at least remember one or two or three of the words. So you might have noticed that at the beginning of the video, there were multiple word search puzzles on the screen. And that's because it seems like these are the top ones that I've seen across the world wide web. You can also just create this style of word search using any word that you want really. So I just chose some based on the word that I thought would be challenging. But if you didn't know, the word search puzzle was actually invented in the 1960s by your boy Norman E. Gibbat, Gibbat, I'm probably saying that wrong. And it quickly gained popularity as the fun and challenging game that you know today. You look for words within a grid of random letters often arranged in a square or a rectangle shape. And it was originally called Called word hunt which if you ask me I'm glad they switched the name man you know what's crazy is like I used to love word searches so much that I remember in elementary school when we started using graph paper I would make my own word search based off of the vocabulary words that we had in our English class or whatever and I would like give them to my classmates without getting any money and so I was out here hustling for no money true story and a missed opportunity all right the first one starts in five four three two one looking for the word dog Looking for the dog, D-O-G. Yo, hey, right there. Let's do it. Catamaran, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Look at this, this is crazy. Okay, all right, let's get it going. Hot dog. I've been watching too much Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. <laughs> I just found it, oh, where'd it go? Oh gosh, oh gosh, it's right here. It's right here. 
you know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh man, this one might take me out. Yo, I, I found it. That's crazy. I didn't I think I was gonna find that quick. Let me just verify. Let's go, baby. Four minutes, 30 seconds. Let's go. Bonobo, 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 Bonobo. B-O-N-O-B-O, B-O-N-O-B-O. This one's kind of trivia because the, the circle and the B kind of matches the O, you know what I'm saying? Interesting enough, while I was doing the last three puzzles, my camera either just randomly stopped recording or my audio was messed up. So to save some time, I ended up finishing the Bonobo one in 20 minutes and one second. And it's interesting because in this word search, the word Bonobo was actually in there twice. On the the puzzle or the the puzzle, I actually finished that one in four minutes and nine seconds. And then last but not least on the kayak puzzle, I finished that one in three minutes and 44 seconds. And with that, I finished all of the allegedly hardest word search puzzles in the world. My fastest one being the dog one, which was also the smallest one. And then my longest one was the Bonobo or Bonobo, whatever. The one that surprised me the most, kayak. Some of that depends on like the position I started. Like some of my, most of them I started at the bottom of the puzzle. Some of them I started at the top. Are there word search strategies that I missed? Probably, but I went with the old fashioned way. Catamaran. Okay, oh, whew. I thought I was saying it wrong the whole time. But in case you didn't know, it's a watercraft. Bonobo. Okay, if you didn't know what that was, that's an ape, by the way, so. Catamaran and bonobos. If you didn't know, now you know. You learn something new every day. All right, this crossword puzzle I'm about to show you is ridiculous. The crossword puzzle, by the way, is similar to our previous two puzzles in the fact that it's a grid. This time you figure out the words that correspond with each row and his clue. It was brought to you by your boy, Arthur Wynn, 49 years before the creation of Taco Bell. Yeah. I had to figure out a way to get Taco Bell into this video. <laughs> Apparently there's like two different versions of crosswords. You have your regular like crossword and then you have cryptic crosswords. And that's just the clues themselves are more cryptic. I mean, it's kind of straightforward. So because of that, I'm gonna try the cryptic one. And when I tell you it's ridiculous, I mean, the clues don't even make sense to me. And let me just be humble and admit that my vocabulary is probably not high enough for these types of crossword puzzles. Also, the guy that created this one, his name is Mark Bremen. I think I said that right. And this guy literally makes crossword puzzles for a living. At least I think it's for a living. He makes at least 1,300 puzzles a year from numerous newspapers. And I understand that in these challenges, I'm supposed to, to hopefully complete them, but this puzzle is expected to take at least two years for the average crossword puzzler. I'm not average at these, so I'm just gonna attempt as much as I can within a 24 hour period just to save some time. In fact, your boy Mark says his cryptic creation are virtually impossible for most people and has described it as 100 times harder than any of the 30,000 he's made since 1991. That's crazy. It's been described as horrendously tricky and the world's hardest. And here it is, Mark and his peers believe it would take the normal crossword fan at least two years and possibly even longer to complete it. I think personally, my goal is if I can get at least one of these words, I will be happy. I don't know if I'm gonna do that. So I probably spent way too much time just sitting here looking at all the clues and the puzzle itself. But the good thing is, as I was doing other stuff, which I unfortunately did not record, I can sit there and look at the clues and try to think of the words that would fit said clue and then look at the puzzle later if I really needed to. I also could do it online, but i rather look at it on paper. And I just knew the words were gonna be overly complicated, so I just kinda had this to say. The main thing I do wonder is, is if because this is a, a British guy that made the puzzle, is if like some of the words, the answers, are like things that they would say in the United Kingdom. So me being American, my word might be a different meaning and he might have a word that means a different meaning. You, you know what I'm trying to say, I can't form the sentence right now. So I wonder if that comes into play. I don't know if it's because I'm like puzzled out at this point or mentally I'm just exhausted from thinking about all this stuff. And I, I only guessed two words and I don't even know if they're right. And it could be one of those things where I'm like missing the point of the clue. Um, like each word might mean something different or might be a clue to the word. But still, I'm just gonna tap out of this one because there's just no way. For the sake of getting this video to you and not taking forever to make this video, that's why I'm giving up on this one. However, I did find a video online where this guy named Mark Goodlife or Goodleaf, whatever, uh, he's the reigning 11 times, times crossword champion, which is crazy. He apparently did this puzzle in like 35 minutes or something like that. I mean, the title of the video is Expert Solver Destroys the World's Hardest Crossword. And this video was posted six years ago. But last but not least, here's my warning for the answers, which are coming in three, two, one. That really is a bit of a baloney claim, I'm afraid, I think. Any 
any listener crossword would be harder than that. Any crossword in the Magpie magazine would be harder than that. Many of the puzzles that we looked at on this site in that genre are certainly harder. Dang, Mark, I need you to chill. My answer of passport and my other answer of hair was obviously wrong. Like I wasn't even close. Some of these words and the answers I never even heard of. So because of that, I have a respect for the people that do crossword puzzles. Ultimately, all these puzzles are supposed to like work my mind and make me think more. Um, if it's not a puzzle, try to think of something else that might challenge you or challenge your mind, maybe even challenge your thinking. Realistically, obviously the word searches were the easiest. Um, if you end up doing those, let me know what your time was. I mean, I'm a competitor, we can compete. I also know how to humbly take a L. It's all right. Sunday morning views quickly turns to afternoons It's like that I can barely go and catch it Kinda how I feel with you Cause your Sunday morning views quickly turn my heart